Welcome to Bus Pirate Week Day 3. Today we're going to talk about Bus Pirate cases. If you check the link below the video, there's already more than 100 user submitted Bus Pirate cases. Everything from candy tins to 3D printed cases to laser cut acrylic cases. We've got a selection of them here. Some of them have been on sale before at Seed, some of them that users have designed, and some we'd like to work with in the future. So, first let's look at cases for the Bus Pirate version 3A. If you recall, this was our first production version of the Bus Pirate at Dangerous Prototypes. The I.O. header is up here in the corner, and it doesn't have any mounting holes. So for the version 3A, Seed found this sort of plain beige box in the Shenzhen market. It just absolutely happened to fit the Bus Pirate perfectly uh, without that programming header we use for development. So Seed bought a bunch of them and sent them to a company that cut holes for the USB jack and the I.O. header there. That was a really inexpensive case that was available for a few years. There might actually be a couple left in the seed shop if uh, you have a version 3A and you'd like one of these inexpensive cases. Our friend Riley at Synthios Labs also makes and sells a laser cut bus pirate case. This is the case for version 3A. He's also got a case for the logic sniffer and some other dangerous prototypes hardware. I think this is available for about $30. It's made by laser cutting a sheet of acrylic and it's built out of multiple layers of cut acrylic. It has a hole for the bus pirate header and the pins are all labeled and on the back it has a key to the different uh, probes, what the different probes do in the different mo modes. He also made us this nice smoky black one that's personalized with the Dangerous Prototypes logo. When we moved from Bus Pirate version 3A to version 4, the board got bigger, and it got mounting holes, the I.O. header is centered, and just some general things about the board changed. So the old version 3 case wouldn't work anymore. And so Seed found this one. It's a slightly bigger beige box, and this time it has drill holes there to take advantage of the mounting holes in the Bus Pirate 3.5. However, it's just a little bit, the circuit board is just a little bit too big to fit. So in order to use it, we had to make a version 3.5D circuit board. So if we choose to go with this box, we'll be using a slightly updated version of the 3.5 with a slightly narrower PCB. And then Seed will hire a company to cut the USB hole and the IO header thing there. Here's another really cool case I wanted to show you. This was designed by Francisco in the forum. It's actually milled out of a single piece of plastic. Uh, he has a 3D design and it can be molded, but for the time being he's making prototypes by it carving out extra plastic from a big block. Um, it's got little rare earth magnets in there that hold the two halves together and the bus pirate fits in between. It's got a nice space for the USB jack and a nice hole for the header. Also all of the modes are labeled in the plastic on the back and the pins are labeled on front. Uh, in the latest version I saw he used some ink and pigment to fill in the legend and it really made it pop out. It looks fantastic. Now making these is actually fairly inexpensive. We could have these molded for 50 cents to two dollars a piece depending on the quantity. The problem is the mold costs a fortune. It'll cost us five to fifteen thousand dollars to get the molds set up in order to start making these. And that's just way beyond what, what we're able to do. However, there's a company called Protomold and they specialize in doing rapid turnaround molding. They can make a, a mold for the prototype in less than 24 hours and start turning out samples within a day, which is really unheard of in the molding business. They have a program called the Cool Idea Program where we can submit an idea, like this case for the Bus Pirate, and they might give us the mold for free. Later today we're going to post our short appeal, the draft of our appeal for the free mold, Take a look at it, leave us some comments if you have any thoughts on it. We'll turn that into them in a few days and keep you updated on if we manage to get a free mold to build this bus pirate case. Now we've talked about cases for version 3 and version 
When we designed Bus Pirate Hardware version 4, we were really careful to keep the header, the LEDs, the USB jack, the programming header, and, and the size exactly the same as the version 3.5. Now, version 4 has two extra pins on the I.O. header, so it's not exactly the same, but for all intents and purposes, both hardware versions can fit in the same case. That means we should be able to use the version 4 and the version 3 case that Seed makes if the I.O. header hole is just slightly larger. It also means we should be able to tweak Francisco's molded version to fit the version 4 and the version 3 as well. It really, the key though is finalizing our size before we make the molded version because it's sort of set in stone at that point. Well that's it for Bus Pirate Cases. It's a short video today because we have a lot going on in the workshop. We'll be back tomorrow with a demo of using the Bus Pirate to write to a data EE problem. This is the presentation I gave at Home Camp 4 on how to use the Bus Pirate. Hopefully also we have some reels of components come in and we'll do an unboxing video of that too. We also put in a huge mouser order for about six projects that need to be completed and we'll post pictures of that stuff when it comes. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoy Bus Pirate Week. Well, that's all I have on cases for today. Well, that's all I have on Bus Pirate Cases. Well, that's it for 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 Bus Pirate Cases.